Hey everybody, Jimmy Eats here. Look, I know it's been a while since I've been on. Not doing a cooking video today. We're gonna do another gun review. I got a Savage 17 rifle. It's a beautiful piece. Can't wait to show it to you. We're gonna take a couple shots on that target out there in the yard. And uh, we're gonna go through some things. So check it out. We'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. Okay, so here is the Savage 17. It is pretty. I love the wood grain in this furniture. I'll just kind of start from here and go down. It's got a muzzle brake. You can take that off, put a muzzle brake on there, which I really think is cool. That furniture is nice. 10 round magazine. It's got an Aki trigger, which I think is great for this gun. Bolt action. Nice, easy, smooth bolt action. I love the work that they've done on this piece. I mean, they really put some work into it. And this buttstock is kind of one of a kind. I've never seen one that comes in like that. It's got the Savage mark there. It has a plastic buttstock on it, which I didn't care for. It's no recoil, but I don't like to not be able to lean it up in the corner without it falling on the ground. So I put this little rubber boot on it, you know. Just got that at the store for like 25 bucks. I went ahead and put a Vortex 3x9x40 scope on it. It's the copper head. It's a pretty nice scope. I'd say a couple hundred dollar scope. Uh, it does not come with fixed sights. So you kind of don't have a choice. You got to put a scope on it to be able to shoot it uh, straight anyway. But nonetheless, it's a really pretty gun. It is a 17 HMR, which is really important to know. Beans, uh, if you put the WMR ammo in there, it will not be a good idea. So it's got an Accu trigger. I think that's a great feature. Um, I love the looks of it. It's a $299 gun. Definitely a budget gun. For the price, they put a lot of work into this gun. I think it's definitely a, a good deal. Um, you know, if you like plinking, just practice shooting, shooting small game, whatnot. A very affordable, nice looking piece. Okay, so for the ammo that we're gonna try today, I have some Hornaday 17 HMR, 15.5 grain, ballistic tips, uh, this is what you got to put in there. You don't have to have Hornaday, but that's what I bought for it. So we're going to take a couple shots out there at that yellow target right there. It's kind of hard to focus. It's way out there. It's about 25 yards out. Plenty big. I should be able to hit it. All I've done is bore sight this myself. I have a bore sighter at home that I put on the end of the barrel with a laser. Like I said, I had to put the scope on, so I put it on myself. I'm no expert. So we're gonna take a couple shots at that target out there and see how close I am with my bore sighting ability. So stick around, we'll take a couple shots and we'll go from there. Okay, so by all means, put on ear protection. Not a big caliber, but you should wear it. So we're gonna take a shot out there at that yellow target. This is the very first shot I've taken with this gun. So brand new, new to me. Give it a try. That's a hit. Hey, not too shabby. Hit that big old target with every shot, which 
don't surprise me it's a pretty good sized target so not bad okay so pros and cons um it shot wonderfully i hit the target with every shot like i said it's not a very big uh well, excuse me it's not a very small target so it wasn't hard uh that's good i like everything about it it's so comfortable the look is beautiful the scope i put on is perfect didn't have any hang-ups i really don't have much to complain about the one thing that i did notice it's really hard i mean not really hard but you got to kind of work it to get it to come up and then back down my other savage is that way too might be a savage thing uh it's not real real smooth moving but nonetheless it's okay i mean it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of pressure on there that way it don't come loose out in the field or whatnot uh the other thing that i didn't like about it was it didn't have a rubber butt stock on the bottom which i put that one on which i like which there's absolutely no recoil so it's not about the recoil it's just you know if you lean your gun up against something you take that risk of it slipping and falling and, and hitting the ground or whatnot so i put that on there for that that reason but other than that this gun is well worth the 300 dollars. i mean it's probably my prettiest gun one of them anyway so super happy the acu trigger is really a nice feature the muzzle on the tip is a really nice feature and of course the, the furniture is really pretty for the money so by all means if you guys like the 17 rifle is actually let me read it it is the on this side, 17 hmr 93 r 17 model um to get a little bit more specific so great gun i really like it Super glad I bought it. If I ever get into eating squirrels or rabbits, I guess, it'd be something really fun for that or just to practice shoot. So if you're not a hunter, it's definitely not out of the picture to own a gun like this. So by all means, uh, leave some comments. Tell me what you think. If you haven't become a subscriber on my channel, right now would be a great time to blast that button. And I tell you what, Stick around for the next interview, for the next review, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.